So another one of Auto Trail's big, big releases this year is another 620, but this is the 620S, which is a two berth. So let's go and have a look inside. So with a 620S you actually have a back kitchen and it is a really really nice shape, you have got quite a nice unit here, you do have a microwave again, you have your three gas cooker, the grill underneath, as well as the oven, as well as some storage as well and once again you have your pull out sink, you also have a pop out drawer as well as two storage underneath, some storage of that, just storage everywhere or as well. And then as we move further back, you do have your back bathroom as well. So this one's a little bit different in, this, in the 620. This one actually has a separate toilet to shower cubicle. Whereas the other one has an all-in-one, this is separate, which is pretty, really pretty. And a nice little compact sink. You do have a nice big fridge freezer. with like a fridge compartment and then a nice big freezer compartment as well. Always makes me jealous when you see them. Underneath the float island in the middle, you have quite a lot of storage in underneath it. And then of course, all the storage around the top. So then you come into the heart of the van, and as you can see, there is a lot of space. I like this, there's a lot of space, there's really good height room. You do have your nice big window here as well. This obviously is where it converts into your double bed. So it is only a two berth van. But once again, you've just got storage. Everywhere you look, there's just cupboard upon cupboard upon cupboard. I quite like this. And it's a, it's a lot smaller than other vehicles as well, which I like. You have your captain's chairs as well as two cubby holes and a nice big cab. If you're like me and you are a little bit broader and you're quite tall, there is a lot of space here. I don't feel as hemmed in in a smaller vehicle like I do in most of them. As you can see, you've, you've got plenty of space either side. So yeah, that, that's quite a nice feeling, especially if you're sitting down. Another nice thing is when you sat down, you don't feel like you're going to be banging knees if somebody sat opposite you. So if you've got your table in the middle, you don't feel like you're in anybody else's way. And it is only your two beds, but there is a lot of space here. You do also have the units here as well. So you've got an actual little wardrobe with a little wardrobe compartment. And then you do have another two bits down there. So it is quite nice that they use up every bit of space as actual storage rather than it just being a dead space. It is a really, really nice vehicle. So yeah, so I do, I quite like this island. You have got some storage underneath and your table storage is there as well. So your table to go in the middle of the bedroom, which is a nice bit of space. I think it feels a lot bigger than it actually is because it's only a 6.2 meter, which compared to the, the, the Scout is, is massively reduced. It is on for 69,000 for this model. Yeah, not on that, not a bad little motor. I think if we didn't have the dogs, I think it would be an option. We'll forget the fact of the money side of things, but yeah, dogs. 